Hi, I'm Charlotte. This is my kitchen. We have pretty poor lighting in here. We have this one overhead light, and we have this one light above the sink. So I want to install some under counter lighting all the way around this area and this area, and then around the sink, and then over to this area as well. There's only one power outlet in this whole area. So the one challenge to this installation is spanning the gap between these two sets of cabinets where the sink is. We've laid out the LED waterproof light bars of where we're going to install them. We're using 12 inch and 20 inch light bars and um, the mounting clips and screws. These light bars use waterproof connectors and they all daisy chain together. We're going to install the light bar directly under the lip of the cabinet and then the waterproof connector is going to connect to the LED light bar DC plug connector. Um, this DC plug connector then connects directly to the 12 volt dimmer switch and the dimmer switch connects directly to the 12 volt adapter and that gets plugged right in here. We're going to use waterproof LED light bar extension cable which connects right into the waterproof connector on the light bar. First we're going to install the mounting clips that come with the light bars underneath the cabinet. And the light bar pops into the mounting clips. Like that. Okay, so we've installed the light bars on the left and right side of the cabinets. We need to install the uh, waterproof LED light bar extension cable um, between this waterproof connector and this waterproof connector. Now that I have connected the extension cable to the light bars on both sides of the sink, I'm going to use simple white tacks to wrap it around the frame of the window. Um, for this installation that's going to be about eight feet. If your window between your cabinets has this kind of frame, you can also tack it underneath the frame like this. You can also use strip lights just as easily, easily as light bars and for that um, you'll just need to use different accessories. So first you'll use an LED strip light splice connector and you'll install that on the end of each of the, the pieces of strip light. We're going to use an 18-2 lamp wire to connect these two pieces of strip and we sell this lamp wire by the foot. To make a secure connection between the lamp wire and the splice connector, you can use a wire nut. This is my kitchen. That was easy. It only took about 20 minutes and now I can get back to chopping.